hello everyone today in this video we are solving the fourth module of data mining which is about the classification so what are the important things you need to know from this model that we'll be discussing now okay so uh, what is classification classification means you have many things here you are classifying into different groups okay the different sets which are similar to each other in the separate groups okay all these concepts like association classification all are same okay just slightly differences are there okay so that is known as classification and what are the important things are these are the important things the decision tree injection and algorithm is there rule based classifier nearest neighbor and basin classifier how many four things you have to keep in mind okay i'll show you the previous questions what are the important things so these are the questions you need to focus on if you solve these questions you will get awesome marks in exam right because these are the important questions fine okay so how do we approach this is what is the general approach and classification what is the definition what are the terms in it that you need to know very thoroughly okay and after that we have the decision tree induction algorithm first algorithm rule based classifier second algorithm nearest neighbor classifier third algorithm and this is the repeated topic so you need not write this here so this is uh, by mistake it has come and this is the fourth one basin classifier and uh, if we uh, means remove this what is just left is except the four classifiers we have the general uh, terms and definition of classification and methods for comparing classifier three different methods from form, uh, with formulas are there very simple okay so we got the basic overview of the module four right very simple so we'll be discussing more on these four and we'll be slightly touching these two topics okay so that's all what is there in module four see the next is module five so this is what you have to focus in this module okay very simple one just the algorithms you need to know and it's uh, basic working so for each i'll be telling an example so let's uh, move on to the notes part okay so this is the module um, four of data mining and before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it helps me make more videos like this okay so let's get started with the module 4 here we have what is classification classification is the uh, technique of labeling the attributes of x to y like for example if we have an attribute like x as spam mail and y as non-spam mail if i get a new mail we'll classify this new mail either as spam or not spam based on its characteristics that is known as uh, classification attribute attribute x classification model will classify this attribute and it will output which uh, class it belongs to okay and that is the classification basic definition and descriptive modeling is a, a bit more uh, greater details of the classification model predictive modeling means we are uh, if we get a new value we are trying to fit that value in uh, the two existing classes means this mail is spam or not that is known as predictive modeling and we can have more factors like spam or not if it's spam from africa spam from america so those things are the different factors okay so that uh, that can also be considered as um feature okay predictive modeling and general approach to solving a classification problem the basic classification is binary classification are you a boy or not that's the basic classification yes or no okay so that is the binary classification the basic one you will just have um induction table here by this the machine will learn what is the similarities and the trends it will learn it and it will form a model and apply the model and will be, will be giving it a new values so it will detect which class it belongs to for example the attribute one attribute two is given and the transaction ids so it does not predict transaction id just this matters so by using these two it will classify which class it is based on what pattern it has found here okay that is known as classification basic model okay <clears throat> these are the terminologies which you need to keep in mind okay what is confusion matrix see uh, the confusion matrix as follows there is a class one and a class is equal to one class is equal to zero clause uh, is equal to one clause is equal to zero actual value and predicted uh, values okay so f11 means frequency of appearing of one one means both is true as true uh, the first one is true and the second one is false the first one is false and second one is true both as false f is frequencies okay this is known as confusion matrix and the formulas are given here you can go through it very simple formulas and decision tree induction this is the first algorithm okay what is it, it is the first algorithm <coughs> in the uh, module four very important okay so what is decision tree decision tree means it is a tree which makes uh, means it represents some uh, values here and uh, here we will be finding out some decisions okay like for example uh, do you go to school or not if you go to school yes if you don't go to school no if you don't go to school what do you do in home you will be playing games or eating food or you will be sleeping right so if you're playing game which game you're playing that is the classification tree okay this is known as decision tree okay decision tree this is known as decision tree. that's all it's that simple okay so the terminologies which you need to keep in mind is what is our decision tree made up of our decision tree is made up of three things the root node internal node or the leaf node so if i draw a tree here you, you tell me what is the root node what is the internal node and what is the external node 
this is the root node it has no incoming address that's the point you have to mention and the internal uh, sorry this is not the internal this is the internal node it has incoming as well as outgoing address and what is the external node which is the leaves it does not have any ex uh, outgoing address at the end okay that's one of the points you have to mention see here the same things are mentioned in whatever i told okay so you can go through it that is about the decision tree and here is an example for mammal so mammal uh, if you want to find out th this is an animal okay this is an animal you want to find out if it's mammal or not so how do we find out is first you will see if the mammal is uh, body temperature is warm or not you will go and touch the mammal and see if your hand feels warm or not if it is warm it's most likely a mammal if it's cold most likely it's not a mammal okay so that will classify as cold as non-mammal and warm as will not uh, uh, classify as of now because a further classification needs to be done if it gives birth or does not give birth if it gives birth and it's warm uh, means the skin is warm it's a mammal else if it's uh, not giving birth but the skin is warm it's not a mammal okay these are the leaf nodes this is the root node and this is the internal node okay so this is all uh, what is in the addition tree now what is the algorithm first you will start from here and you will see what are the features you have based on features we will create new nodes and again you will uh, come and see if you have already existing features if a new mammal comes and says i eat a uh, burger okay so that feature is not present here. will add a new feature eating burger okay but if a, a feature is present here like i am warm and i eat ice cream so the feature is present you need not make a new feature here and you'll come here then you'll see eating ice cream is present or not if it's not make a new feature eating ice cream from here okay after warm eating ice cream rather than giving birth okay the, that's how you uh, construct the decision tree and that's the algorithm for it okay so explain the uh, definition and an example and algorithm in your own words okay so here's how to build a decision tree the algorithm is written here so here's a person the person's name is written whether he will be able to pay the rent or not that's the thing which you are trying to find out so some uh, factors are here like who is the homeowner marital status annual income and default okay so these are the things which is present here and yeah based on that we will classify if the person if a new person is shown to us we will be uh, saying like most likely he is going to pay the rent or most likely he is he may not be able to pay the rent okay that's all we will classify okay moving on we have the decision tree based algorithm induction methods for doing that the same things you can go through it this, this is just the classifications like what is the binary binary means just two values nominal means more than two values and what is the ordinary ordinary means the group of values and then we have the continuous means uh, continuous values less than or 10 to 20 25 to 50 and so on so these are different types of attributes you can have in decision tree okay and measures for selecting there are three measures to select the best one uh utrophy will calculate gene will calculate and classification error you will calculate by using these formulas and you'll decide which is the best one to take in which condition okay so here just you need to know what are the things not how how the things are being done okay because it's just an in, uh, introduction okay so here's the algorithm you can go through it the same thing whatever i mentioned that's present here so i'm not going through it right now because i am running short of time and characteristics that also you can write in your own words advantages and all what is model overfitting there are two types of overfitting training error and uh, generalization error overfitting means what see for example if i give you a few points like this like this like this like this okay so uh, overfitting means what doing exactly like how it is a pattern will uh, get calculated and but that's not a trend i need to calculate because what happens is if i, I give a new point okay how much distance it is this much but if it had uh, not done in an overfitting manner, it had uh, calculated a uh, normal trend. At that time, the this point will be closed uh, more nearer to the actual trend, right? So I'll get a more accurate answer. So that's what uh, overfitting is. It can happen during training or the testing. Okay, testing or training. Both time it can happen. So that is the two errors which can come: training error and generalization error. Okay, so you can go through the definition parts. And next we have the methods for uh, comparing classifier so that's the last topic which i had shown what are the methods after we discuss the methods we'll discuss the rest three um, algorithms the first one is done decision three then we have the rule based nearest neighbor and the basin classifier okay this we will discuss after the um, three methods for comparing classifier estimating a confidence intervals for accuracy this literally you can read and get to know what are the things okay i need not explain much about this one see you only read estimating a confidence interval for an accuracy so what we have we are uh, getting the confidence uh, ratio based on the accuracy if more accuracy means more confidence less accuracy means less confidence that's all and here's the formula for it okay binomial expression formula 
and uh, so here also you will calculate the normal deviation distribution the following confidence uh, intervals for the accuracy can be derived as uh, follows you just have to remember the formula and explain the uh, formulas working ok need not apply the formula numericals are not asking in exam ok next is comparing the performance of two models by using this formula you will compare the performance you will calculate variance and check whose variance is more and whose variance is less comparing the performance of two classifier this is the formula by uh, you will divide the set into k equal size partitions and then you will see which is the most uh, better performing uh, set ok so this is the formula and so those are three methods ok this comparing performance of two classifier comparing performance of two models and estimating confidence intervals for accuracy ok these are the methods for comparing classifier three methods you need to uh, know and uh, write in exam ok write in your own words just remember the exact formula ok let us go to the second one which is rule based classifier what do you understand by the term rule based rule based means based on a rule right it is literally similar to the decision tree but just a more um, enhanced version of a decision tree ok what do I mean by an enhanced version is that here see we will be classifying two things ok whether the uh, these are the rules we will be writing it uh, in advance and we, by using these rules we will be classifying whether it is a mammal or not mammal so the rule one is if it gives birth it does not give birth and it flies in air which is aerial creature yes then it is a bird if it gives birth no aquatic creature then it is fish if it gives birth and its body temperature is warm it is mammal if it gives birth no if it is aerial creature no then it is a reptile ok so we have our rules here we will be using these rules to classify if I show you here where we will be using these rules is so these are the formulas which we will be using the fraction of records that satisfy and does not satisfy accuracy and coverage you can go through it what the uh, technical difference is in between them I am just going to the top overview of what it is so uh, how our rule based classifier work see here these things are given to us a large information is given what are the things we have warm or not gives birth or not aquatic creature or aerial creature ok by using these three we can find out if it is uh, mammal or not these are the unknown uh, creature names given to us ok so it is warm and it gives birth so obviously it is a mammal like that we will um, calculate ok it is uh, cold and it uh, does not give birth if it is cold and does not give birth it is reptile if it is cold and it gives birth then it will be something else right so the first one is mammal and the second one is uh, trigger in the rule 3 uh, must be classified uh, must be resolved sometimes what happens is see the third one is not uh, applicable means whatever rules we defined that is not sufficient to classify this one as mammal reptile or aerial or uh, fish okay and here there is a um, conflict happening cold and does not give birth it can be either reptile or fish because both are cold and does not give birth right that is what sometimes the uh, means because of lack of information and lack of the proper rules defined what happens is a, a conflict ok so that we have to dissolve by uh, doing more research ok that is what the rule based classifier is write the algorithm in your own words ok so some of the uh, characteristics are mutually exclusive rules exhaustive rules and so these rules examples of mutual and exhaustive rules are follows ordered rules unordered rules so these are different types of rules used in the rule extra um, rule based classifier okay this is basically you can easily understand by the name itself ordered means it's ordered in a decreasing or increasing order and unordered means it's uh, ordered in a not increasing decreasing but uh, based on its value itself okay means uh, there is no particular order all the sets are uh, the items are combined and kept in a group okay okay so here is a direct method for rule extraction so for extracting rule what we will do is we will first have our uh, item sets here okay in item sets we will uh, uh, take each item set and we will see what are the new rules getting added and what are the existing rules not in need so based on that we will be adding a rule or deleting a rule that is known as direct method for rule extraction okay so see here um, there is the same thing mentioned here learn one rule and if the rule which is not uh, being used much then what you have to do is remove that rule ok see here remove that rule ok so based on that as you get more information you will get to know what is the more relevant things you need to keep in the data set and the rules so you will update the rules as follows ok that is the direct expression for rules firstly only you will not define rules you will see the data set and then define rules ok that is the only difference then we have the uh, rule growing strategy there are two uh, rule growing strategies general to specific and specific to general in the previous one I mentioned right just a brief information now we will discuss in detail what is general to specific and what is specific to general ok 
so a mammal is the general category in mammals we have the skin cover body temperature and has legs or not and many other features okay and again we'll keep on doing specific things and so we'll reach a particular um feature or a uh, characteristic of a particular animal so whatever animal we get uh, we'll be comparing this one specifically to each other and with whichever it is more similar to will be classifying that mammal's characteristic as that follows okay that is uh, general to specific this is the example you have to give and explain in the other way what is general to specific is a uh, uh, specific information is given and will categorize into two categories then uh, go to general parts okay that is the uh, reverse one of the previous okay so characters also you can go through it very simple characteristics and easy ones you will get to know what are the advantages and disadvantages as well okay so that marks the end of the second uh, important algorithm which is rule based classifier we are left with two more which is the k nearest neighbors and uh, basin and nave based classifier okay so what are the uh, main points in nearest neighbor classifier what is nearest neighbor means you suppose that i have like a person is passed or a person is failed in exam so whoever has passed what are the marks they got in the uh, test is these marks and whoever failed what are the marks they have got is these marks okay this mark they have got now uh, a person i am standing here okay i am standing here and i need to know whether uh, means i have passed or failed okay so i have i have my marks here based on k nearest uh, neighbors i'll be trying to calculate if i am passed or not what i will do is i'll calculate what is the distance till here till here and till here okay so based on what is the nearest distance i get three nearest distance okay based on that if i uh, get more in the fail part i am fail if i get more in the pass part i am pass okay so for example i got five items in that uh, three is nearer to pass and uh, two is nearer to fail so based on that what i can classify is three by five and two by five i am more nearer to pass than fail so i am pass if it's the reverse it's the reverse like that we will calculate nearest neighbors distances by uh, using the euclidean distance okay i'll show an example how do we calculate uh, exactly is for example just consider two points here okay one comma two and here we have three comma uh, seven and here we have five comma two okay now for example if i want to calculate this distance what i will do um square root of x2 minus x1 which is five minus one four square plus two minus zero zero square this distance i'll get for the left part and this distance what is the distance 7 minus 2 5 square 5 square plus 3 minus 5 is 2 2 square is 4 okay so 5 square plus 2 square which is more nearer the, uh, in that category i belong to that is the k nearest uh, neighbor classification so what is the two step process is first define the model take some uh, root nodes here after taking the root nodes then we will classify the nearest neighbors according to euclidean distance and then we will be moving on and making new clusters okay that's all what is there in the nearest neighbor classification so see here if you just consider one nearest neighbor one nearest neighbor two nearest neighbor three nearest neighbor like that will keep on building the new new clusters the same algorithm is present here consider the whole set calculate the distances between the uh, every uh, e of x with the respect to other x and wherever you get the closest one then form a cluster okay that's the uh, algorithm present here okay very simple one and here some few more information is given so the basic thing you need to know the algorithm very well that's more important okay so here's the characteristics you can go through it very easy and last one we have the basin classifier what is basin classifier we have uh, probabilities here okay so i'll show you the formula this already we have studied in the 12th standard so just to revise what is these things we'll be using an example okay so here's an example and homeowner marital status annual income and default uh, borrower okay so here what we have is um, there was a sentence which was sufficient to understand what is a basin classifier yeah yeah suppose we have given it a test record with the following attribute set x is equal to homeowner no and marital status married annual income is uh, 100k to classify the record we need to compute the posterior probabilities yes with respect to x and no with respect to x what is the probability of yes with respect to x uh, given to us what is the probability of no with respect to the x set given to us based on that if x is uh, yes probability is more or uh, if no probability is more then we will classify it as yes or no okay so uh, before we only that's uh, what is there in the basin classifier we will be having some uh, default conditions and we will be comparing with that conditions if we get a yes or a no okay so this is the formula for it you can go uh, do some reading you'll get to know what exactly the formula is but this is what the basic definition of um, base uh, theorem is okay 
also the next one which is nave based classifier this also very similar to the previous one just a slight modification is that it will be having the initially the condition will be independent okay given the class label y so if an attribute is given to us it is independent of the other attribute y and then we will calculate if it is probability of yes or probability of no with respect to y okay just a slight difference not much but the basic thing you got to know right if you have an uh, independent attribute and a dependent attribute what is the probability of yes with respect to this what is the probability of y, uh, no with respect to this that we are calculating in uh, Bayesian classifier just remember the formula explain it uh, with an example like the homeowner uh, home one okay and few um, definitions here like conditional independence the probabilities does not affect each other like for example <coughs> me kicking a ball and me rolling a dice the, those two probabilities are not yet uh, means um, dependent that is known as independent conditions what is a dependent condition me getting a head or a tail in the same coin if i get a head obviously uh, the other probability is 50 percent uh, tail but me kicking the ball or not that does not affect me getting head or not right <clears throat> so that's what independent and dependent um, conditions is okay and you have the characteristics uh, characteristics here we can go through it a subtopic in this is a uh, bayesian belief network which provides a graphical representation okay graphical representation of probabilistic relationship among a random set of variables if random set of variables is given it will provide a graphical representation of the relationship between each of those values okay so it looks as follows so here basically what we are trying to do is more relevancy we are trying to calculate okay so whichever the attributes are not relevant at all we'll be removing them okay so the algorithm is as follows we'll get a set here and we'll be performing a for loop here and get the highest order variables okay after that we'll be removing those variables that does not affect the x values initial values okay after that we'll keep on doing until all those values are removed and we have the best uh, probability with us okay <coughs> And the next one is the classic uh, characteristic of BBN. So that's all what is there in this module. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.